In my previous videos, I've shown you how to construct parallelograms, how to construct triangles uh, using these beautiful mathematical tools. Uh, make sure to check my site explainingmaths.com to see and find all those resources nicely organized. But now we're going to create an angle bisector. And of course you know what the word angle means, but what does bisector mean? Well, a sector or a section is, if you like, uh, a part of something, and bi means two. So what are you going to do? You are going to divide the angle into two parts, but those parts are going to be equal, yeah? So how does that go? It's, it's fairly straightforward and not very difficult. Let's say I have an angle of 60 degrees. I'm going to draw an angle of 60 degrees, now, if I would divide that angle into two equal parts, so an angle of 60 degrees into two equal parts, how many degrees would each part be? Well, 30, right? 30 degrees, 30 degrees, that's gonna make 60 degrees, yeah? So, my, my bisector, which is a line, is going to divide this 60 degree angle into two equal parts of 30 each. So this angular bisector is going to look like this, this is the line, yeah? But you cannot just measure 30 degrees and draw the line, no. You have to use your compass to construct it. Okay, I'm gonna show you how. You are going to open your compass, it doesn't matter how far. But don't do it too far, because it's difficult to work with, and not uh, too small, because also that is difficult to work with. Just a couple of centimeters like that. Okay, once you have opened it, you gotta keep it at that width. So do not touch those arms and legs of the compass anymore, okay? Only hold it at the top and make sure you have a compass where once you open it, uh, it doesn't move by itself, okay? So invest uh, some money in buying a proper one, they're not very expensive. Okay, so I open it and I'm not going to change it anymore. I'm going to put my needle here at my angle and I'm going to, I'm interested in the point of intersections with those two lines that make my angle. You see that? Over there and over there. So I do not have to draw the entire circle. I'm only drawing the arcs intersecting with the lines that create my angle. Okay, can you see the pencil? Can you see the pencil? So I'm, I'm not sure if you can see it properly over there. So I'm just in red gonna show you the arcs of the circle which I just drew. Okay, so you don't do that, but that's just to, to make sure that you can see it. Yeah, so those two arcs. Now, again, I open my compass at the beginning and I still don't change the width because with the same width, I put my needle here and I'm going to draw the arc here, knowing that my sect, uh, angular bisector goes in that direction. I only have to draw that part of the circumference, that arc, and then I'm gonna do the same on this side, put the needle here and draw the arc of the circle. Why? Because I'm interested in that point of intersection. So again, I'm going to, to trace my pencil to make sure you can see it. So first I drew that part with my compass, and then I drew that part with my compass. And that point of intersection, that's what I'm interested in, because from my angle, through that point of intersection, that is my angular bisector. And then very accurately, with my sharp pencil and my ruler, I draw my angular bisector. Yeah, from the angle through that point of intersection. Good. And you can check that, you can take your protractor and you will notice now that I divide my 60 degree angle exactly into two angles of 30 degrees each. Yeah? We have to leave our construction lines. We do not rub them out. They're part of the construction. Just very quickly to show you, it really doesn't matter at the beginning how far you open your compass. Let's say I open it a little bit wider. Okay, very quickly. Over there, over here. Okay, I'm not gonna trace it. Put my needle here, leaving it the same width. Over there, yeah, and from this side, over there. And as you can see, hopefully, now these two arcs also intersect, yeah, and that angular bisector also goes from the angle through that point, so really it doesn't matter. But at the beginning you choose a particular width and you stick to it. All right, explainingmaths.com for all my resources for free just to help you and share and like this video if it was useful so I can help your friends too. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.